back with Civilization 5. Let's get this done. Let's see. We got an atlas list there. Yeah, okay. So our next priority is going to be expanding this way. Because I really want these resources here. That silk, those furs, cattle, the horses. There we go. And Tikal is already going to grab this iron, this stone. So I get a very big grasp of the land. Okay, these guys are going to fortify here. Now, we did found a religion in the last episode. And, yeah. That was a pretty good achievement. Let's go ahead next turn. Now, Tikal, let me have a look at what they're doing. Tikal, why don't I have yields there? Okay, there we go. Thing is, Tikal, what are they working? So they got lots of food, that's why they're growing nicely. And we're building a worker. Let's focus on production so we can get that worker out as soon as possible. That settler is also coming out. This scout here, I keep scouting this way. And the analyst is going to recover. Yeah, we've got Mongolian warriors. Okay, let's see what's around here. Maybe we can find Genghis Khan. Nothing there. Keep doing improvements. Let's keep moving this way. Another barbarian encampment. Great. Okay, those workers are still making the road. That's fine. Ouchie. Alright, let's get out of there. Let's get into the jungle. Okay, that's done. We do have a camp here and a camp there. And a camp there. We got all the tiles we need here. And uh, the only thing I would actually improve in this city, in case I want more food, which I do want after the settler's done, is to build a farm here. That worker's home is done. Okay, those barbarians are actually chasing me. We found the city-state of Samarkand. These are lists already done. Oh, and it seems that we have here the Mongolian border already. Let's actually check out their city. There we go. Oh, and these guys have to build a farm. That's correct. So there we go. So let's surround Samarkand. We found Prague as well. Okay. Settlers coming out really soon. Oh, Alexander. So you're going to give me basically 30 gold if I accept your embassy. Okay. Malista. Malista. Okay. I have no problem in accepting embassies if they pay me dinero. Okay, uh, let's go this way. So we got a barbarian galley. That's we bomb it. And now, um, we're gonna have to settle somewhere. I'm gonna take my warrior. I'm gonna scout out ahead in case there's any barbarians. These guys are just gonna come out into the woods and stay there. Meanwhile, now what would be interesting to build in Palenque? I do want to boost their food. Could also get a monument to boost a bit of culture. Water mill would give me the food I need, but it's very high maintenance. Caravansary would be interesting as well. Temple of Artemis will give me 10% growth in all cities. 
That would help a lot. And 15% produ production when building range range units. We're gonna skip that though. Mm. The mausoleum of Halicarnassus would actually be good for Tikal. And we're gonna get two stone resources. But for Palenque at the moment, I think we're just going to get a caravan to get trade between our cities. Okay, what tech are we researching? Currency. Okay, a list of food. I'm not the highest. There's the Mongolians. I really need to keep an eye on them. I really need to keep an eye on them. Bananas. Okay, that settler there. He's eager to start settling. There we go, let's send him down. Okay, so we got our new worker here. Tikal, I'm gonna change it to food. We're gonna change its production to something that's gonna give us food as well. I could get the granary. Wheat, bananas and deer also provide additional food, but we don't have any of those. I could, um, well, I mean, it's 20 turns. Monument, maintenance one, that wouldn't be good. Granary, maintenance one, I would lose all the gold income that I have. It all... Maintenance. Okay. We've got three food here, two food, two food, two food. If I grow another one, another another pop, we'll get this food here. Hmm. I really want Tikal to grow. But it's in 13 turns. I'm really, uh, I don't know what to build here in Tikal. So I'll go with the granary, just to get the extra food, so we can grow a bit more. It's going to take a while, but hopefully when the fifth pop comes out, we'll get some extra production. Oh, and especially now I'll start improving our tiles, so that will help. So I'm going to build a quarry here, to get that stone. And now we're going to adopt a policy. I'm gonna go. Temples increase cities gold output by 20%, 25%. Heli sites provide three gold. Cities with a majority religion also get the Pantheon belief bonus of the second most popular religion. That's actually pretty good. And Reformation, if you found a religion, gain a bonus Reformation belief. We're going to go first with theoc Theocracy because we're always gonna have pyramids. Pyramids are really good for us. And now they're gonna get even better. We're really powering our pyramids. There we go. So our pyramid. Hold, hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Did I just? Did I just? Uh, I think I got confused there. Replaces the shrine. Okay, replaces the shrine. I forgot about that. It's not a temple. Okay, fine. We are gonna build temples anyway, so that will do. Next turn. Okay, let's keep bombarding that galley. These guys shoot just wait there. This scout can keep scouting. Oh, eu sou Pedro, imperador do Brasil. Tenho pouco tempo para gracejo. O que eu traz aqui? Hello, Pedro. Uh, okay. Neutral, fine. I have nothing to discuss with you at favor, the moment. Prosiga. No, I'm not going to proceed here. So, bye bye. 
Alright, let's see. Um, where would be a really good spot for a city? I mean, that desert tile, certainly not. But maybe here, next to the lake, that would be fantastic. I would be in reach of everything around. I would have fresh water on the get-go. Yes, I think. And I'll also be able to reach those furs as well. That would be good. Product decoration from Greece. They're protecting Valletta. Well. Oh, barbarian. It's okay, they're weakened though. Let's really see the extent of Pedro's borders. There's Rio. We got some spearmen. Okay. Alrighty. Um, I'm actually tempted to actually put the scout on out to explore now because it's not really important for me to be attending it all the time. In fact, I'm gonna fortify it until healed and then I'll put it on out to explore. Okay, these barbarians are pretty brave. They 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 surely want to die. Okay, we're going to found our city here. In fact, I'm going to check the yields for a moment. This would make two food. We're surrounded by a lot of food. That is a very good place. We don't have much production, though. Not much production. But we do have forests, so... Yeah, I think it would be a fine placement. They shoot. And by barbarians. These guys are going to fortify. These guys are going to fortify as well. The farm there is already done. And now, we should go down to Chichen Itza. To try and improve our resources there. As for production, we're going to get the pyramid. Pyramid is a no-brainer. I mean, it's so good. So, pyramid. All our cities should have a pyramid. We should start focusing on gaining gold as well because we're running out of it. Well, we'll be able to build market soon. And Petra would be fantastic here. For all desert tiles worked by the city, except for plains, gains an additional trade route slot, and a caravan appears in the city. Plastics culture once archaeology is discovered. Built on or next to a desert. Okay, I think that doesn't count. No. Tikal, unfortunately, doesn't count for one tile because the desert is right over here. Now that sucks. Unless I build a city around here and I could take advantage of all these desert tiles. That would be fantastic. But we'll see what I what I decide. I, I would also stop Mongolian expansion through here. So that, that would actually be a good way we're putting a city there. Than well. Okay. So, first off, we're going to get the pasture. We're going to finish off that galley. For production here, we're going to really need all the caravansary or market. Caravansary or market. We're going to go with the market at the moment because I want to trade between my cities, I think. And as for tech, I think we should head for writing now. Just to get it out. Just get it out of there. Although there's nothing really interesting for me here. My civilization does not want to learn writing at the moment. I am going to go for composite bowmen, however. Okay, in this caravan, we can establish a trade route. Now we could go to Argos. Argos would be a really good deal. Um. We would receive four gold, two science and one gold per turn. That makes it five. 
we could go to Genoa, Hong Kong or Valletta. I think I want to expand my religion to Alexander. So that's what I'm going to do. So that got, that is going to the Greeks, getting some nice gold. Oh my god. I just hate how, how false Genghis Khan is. He's, he's a two-faced bastard. No. No, I do not like you. And I do not like your green face either. No. No way, Genghis. I'm not falling for you this time. Okay. Okay, so we got our quarry set up. Now let's go for the salt. Increase our happiness there, which is also decaying. There we go. This is going to give us additional food. Which I want for Tikal. So we gain a new pop at Chitsunitsa. I really want it to grow though. I really want it to grow first. It's going to be hard being the people unhappy and all that, but we can manage. Okay, this worker has finished building a road, but before we build another road to connect Chitsunitsa, we're going to build a pasture here. Min van. Det är min övertygelse att den uppgörelse kan gagna både mitt och ert folk. Mm, okay, I don't lose anything. I mean, you're far away enough from me. Also, you have uh, the Mongols as a neighbor. So, I, I prefer to have you as a friend, really. Oh, fantastic. Pedro is my friend. He wants to be my friend as well. Seems I'm going to be friendly with everybody except the Mongols. I hate the Mongols, man. I can purchase things with faith. But would I do that? Maybe I should save for a great profit. So I can enhance my religion. Sweden and Mongolia are now friends. Oh, Sweden. That is a mistake. Three things are to be looked for. Okay, so we got construction, so we can actually improve our atlas lists. That would be actually pretty good to be ahead and to dissuade the Mongols from attacking us, because I know what Genghis wants. He wants my gold. He wants my stuff. We're going to go. Oh man, engineering is so good as well with the additional trade route. And the aqueduct. But we're gonna go for iron working so we can get some swordsmen and reveal iron. Oh, I mean we already have revealed iron there. Alright. Nothing to do this turn. We got the bisons available now if I want to. Let's get in our, our guys in there. Okay. Mm. Now the problem about Chichen Itza is that it has pretty low food right now. I don't want the production mate, I just want food so it can grow. Right now I'm going to go with the cows first. Go and improve the cows. So, our people are happy again. Palenque is about to expand. Let's get that pasture up. Oh, Palenque did expand. Fantastic. Now we're going to pay to get a composite bowman. 
and uh, let's choose something else to build here caravansary would be amazing as well to get more gold incoming but I think just because we're low on military units I'm gonna get another composite bowman and as for these guys they finished therefore I think we should build a couple of farms here before moving on just to get more food get a farm in there trade routes going fantastically well composite bowman is fantastically well as well Tikal is perfectly fine and now would be a great moment to build a market here as well that I will do once this pop goes to five I'll focus on production yep in fact I can do it right now because I know that in one turn I'll be able I'll be able to uh, to get five so that's what I'm gonna do these guys they're gonna go back to border duties with the Mongolians and next turn okay the Swedish have completed the statue of Zeus no problem Uh, I think the scout. I really forgot about the scout. Yeah. Go back to exploring duties, please. Yeah, Kazimierz Wielki. Witam cię na ziemiach Wielkiego Królestwa Polskiego. Wow, he sounds angry. Casimir the Great of Poland. Okay. Um. You can keep your castle, mate. Um, I'll just, I'll just move on. Okay. See ya. He's actually next to Pedro. I think they're not gonna get along. Okay, the cows are done. Let's get another farm in here. You can never have enough food. Okay, keep keep those guys on border patrol. Right on this mountain so I can check their warriors out. Okay. Next turn. Jak ci się podoba moja oferta? Yeah, I like your oferta. Dobrze. Embassy for 30 gold, that's fine. I am earning 12 gold a turn now, which is pretty nice. Okay, you guys can fortify there. Polish warrior. Okay. Pyramid's finishing. Gonna get another composite bowman. And we get another great profit. Fantastic. Great profit. You're going to enhance our religion. Yes, sir. As for this composite bowman, he's going to go down to Tikal, which is undefended. So we need people down there. As for Palenque, you're going to build the caravansary because I really want that extra gold. There you go. Chichen Itza. is very low in production. Hold on a moment. I mean, we're focusing on food. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to keep focusing on food. I really want some more pop in there. I'm going to focus on the circus to increase our happiness. But once we get three, I'll change to production. So let's enhance doom bringing the religion. Second follower belief. Let's see what we can get. Shrines provide plus one happiness in cities with three followers. Cathedrals. Choral music. Each will wonder. Guru ship. Faith to purchase pre industrial land units. Mosques. Use faith to purchase pagodas. Gardens provide two happiness. Each follower. Welfare. War. I mean, I am lacking in happiness. Plus one happiness in cities with three followers. So, right now, for example, here we've got four followers. That would be one happiness. 
I think that's pretty good. That is pretty good actually because it's 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 actually very easy to get your own cities to have lots of followers as long as you protect your religion and your lands. And this would actually in the long run will save me a lot of money because I don't have to make that many coliseums and stuff. All right. I'll get that. As for the enhancer belief, Uh, holy order I can spread it a lot more um, I could get the messiah one because it would get 25% less faith needed for profits Or missionary seal, and I, and I can have a less tougher time converting. I'll probably get this religious text. Religious text. I have. I can spread it passively. I think I'll go with religious text. So let's enhance our religion. Yes. Next turn. Do not wait to strike. Okay, we got iron working. Let's get that iron. Let's buy this tile here. Let's get that iron. We really want the iron. And let's fortify this composite bowman there. As for our next research, we're going to go. I mean, mm, I mean, maybe we could go sailing. No, because I don't have any coastal cities. Okay, th for one moment I thought Palenco was going to be coastal city. If this was Civ 6, I could build a district here. Harbor district, done. But this is Civ 5 still. So. Writing. Oh, no way. Engineering. Just for the additional trade route, maybe I'll just go engineering. Yes. Next turn. Alright. Chichen Itza has grown, so we're going to focus on production. Unlock these. Back to production, please. Okay, I'll sign them myself. There we go. So in 14 turns, we'll have that circus. I could build a sawmill here to increase our production as well. Let's get that iron up. And next turn. Brazil and Mongolia now friends. Wow, Mon Mongolia is sure making their friends. Okay, so we're going to make the sawmill here. Get that extra production. That I really need in that city. Okay, Tikal is really surrounded by food. It has to start getting the bisons there for Palenque. <laughs> and bisons, there we go. Deveremos prosperar através do comércio. Ok. Yeah. That's fine with me. Don't mind. As long as later in the game we all band together to destroy Mongolia. I really hate those pricks. Anyway. Yes, we're all friends in this game, it seems. We're all friendly and lovely dovely. Deveremos prosperar através do comércio? Yeah, give me your gold. Através do comércio. Yeah. So, Chichinitsa demands cocoa. 
Do I have cocoa around here? No. I did I did remember seeing a cocoa resource. There we go. It's just I mean it's in Greece Greek's land. Alright. So the most literate people I'm second. That is funny considering that I have not invented writing yet. <laughs> but we are the most literate people, the second most literate people. But that's just a technology standing. So it seems that Alexander's pretty advanced. Yeah. I think it's time to start making the next settler in Palenque. Okay, so we got the iron resource. Let's finally improve this hill here to get that production. And in Palenque we're going to go for the settler. Maybe I should go for the circus first. Something tells me I should go circus first. Just because once I settle that new city I'm going to go into an unhappiness. So I'm going to go with circus at the moment which is free and maintenance that's why I mainly do them got the production focus yes we do instrumental or mechanical science is the all right we've got engineering I love this diamond tile I mean we're getting three hammers three golds there that's a fantastic tile that we got there Chichen Itza it's going fine as well Soon we'll expand to get that cow and furs. So I'll keep improving the tiles around me. Let's get a mine there. And as for research, I think we can go for guilds to get more monies. East India Company. That would be fantastic. Machu Picchu. Also really fantastic for me. It also fits my civilization. Artist Guild. Grand people, crystal trading post, enables conversion of production to wealth. That sounds really fantastic to me, to be very wealthy and do lots of things with money. Well, that's all the time we got for today. In the next episode, we'll probably be settling around here to cut off Mongolia. I really don't want them in my lands. And uh, that's it. I'll see you next time.